Topic, we should allow students in year five and above to use social media sites like Facebook and Twitter. First of all, what's the issue of this debate? Why, why have this debate? Why talk about it? Yeah. Because um, some, because social media is a pretty big thing going on. Yep. Like, like everyone wants to have social media. Yes, and absolutely. Like, saying that, like, kids can't have it, so we want to change this so that Yeah, and what are kids like? Stuff they're told not to have. Yep. Okay, that's the first thing they want. You know, ask any toddler, any child or whatever, what do you want? Well, what I'm not allowed to have. That's exactly what I want. Freedom. Yeah, why not? Freedom, okay. Facebook gives you freedom. Okay, that's an interesting idea. Maybe, maybe not. Um, all right, so let's just, I mean, we could just say the issue is that it's popular. And everybody's using it. Everyone from the ordinary person to the celeb. You know, you, you get a tweet from, you know, whoever. Uh, it's popular. People use Facebook all the time. Uh, what are the other important things? When we look at the definition, when we look at the definition, why or what would we need to define in this? Do you think any team is going to combat you on this or this? Are we going to have a debate about what Facebook is? No? Are we going to have a debate on what Twitter is? I don't think you're going to get another team go, I don't really agree with your definition on Facebook. If I think Facebook is something else. Plus also, other important word in here, be careful. We're not just talking about these. What else could be included in an affirmative team's definition that we might need to watch out for? Yep, what are some other social media sites? Yep, Instagram could talk about. What else? Snapchat. Yep. Snapchat. Any others? We don't make it so broad, but just get ready for them. If you're the negative team, go, okay, they might not only talk about these things. They might talk about some other ones as well. Adam, last one. Yeah, possibly. Yep. Uh, although, that's kind of different. Why might we put YouTube into a different sort of category, yeah? You don't have to share your personal Yeah, true, yep. Yeah. Watch videos without actually using yep. Okay, yep, what else? Um, there's stuff like Gmail, um, some people share their about um, Social media, Gmail. Probably you'll get a team saying email is email, and it's not like social media. Social media sites, things are shared instantaneously at times. You might not get YouTube in a definition because it's uploaded later and you don't have that direct kind of correspondence with someone. If someone posts something on Facebook, can you pretty much reply straight away? Yep. Twitter, Snapchat, all that stuff, you can pretty much reply straight away. YouTube, you really can't. You can write the comment section, but you can't really reply straight away. Yep, go. Um, with the social media, yep. would this be a um, hard topic? Because, um, Very. You have to state, um, if any site that you can talk to someone over a computer screen, is that social media or is social media open like things like Facebook? You get to decide. You see, the thing is with a debate, as an affirmative team, you get to decide. But if you make it way too broad, then, you know, how are you going to debate everything? So you kind of, you know, you cite your examples like Facebook and Twitter, and you might want to throw in Snapchat and Instagram in there because they're popular and probably used by uh, the people that are here. Possibly more than this or this. I would think, you know, probably if you've got year five people, they're probably more going to be using Snapchat and Instagram more than they use these, which is probably why this word is in here, okay? That would be my thought, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so with our definition, we're not going to really have a problem with these words. What might we have a problem with? Or as an affirmative team, why we need to define and pay careful attention to, yeah? This is huge. This is absolutely huge. This is picked for a reason. It doesn't say year six, it doesn't say year eight, it doesn't say year two. And as the affirmative team, you've got to think why, and as a negative team, you've got to think why. This is so important. Also, this. Okay, you've got to remember that this is included. So upwards from year five. To how long? University, uh, high school, end of primary school, Okay, first of all, think back. Tell me something that you know particularly about these two. 
And who's allowed to use them? Legally, who's allowed to use them? What do we know about it? Yep. Yeah, you've got to be 13. So, how old are you guys? People in year five are roughly? Okay, so we're talking about the difference of three years, roughly, give or take. Okay, you need to ballpark it because what you know what you don't want is for you to stand up as an affirmative team and go, okay, people in year five who are 10 years old, you know, should be allowed to use it. And what you don't want is a negative team standing up going, people in year five are 11. I mean, almost so what? That's not what you're arguing. Well, it is and it isn't. But don't get caught up on the numbers. Remember, argue the points. Don't argue the technicalities. All right? It's this. It's people who are in year five. It's not people who are 10, people who are 11 necessarily. It's people who are here in their life. Now, next question. What if, sorry, I lose my voice today. Why them? Why people in year five? Why not people in year three? Why not people in kindy? Why not, why not start this at year six? Why not start this at year seven? As an affirmative team, this is picked for a reason. You've got to defend this. You don't get to move this. This is not like your last debate of now you've got to include year 12 because it's in the topic and we've caught you out. It's not about this. This is you're trapped into this. But you need to defend it like it's a good idea. Michael? Oh, Okay, yeah. All right, sure. So it can be about you've, you've hit a certain point of maturity where you need to take more responsibility on, therefore you should be given more responsibility. Just roughly, what do we think, how many people do you think in year five, just think about everybody who's in year five, how many people do you think in year five use social media sites, regardless of what they are? 100%? 30%. Okay, 30? At least a third? I think you'd be more surprised. I think it'd be well over a half on, on some sort of social media site. Now, why? Why should we allow them? So we're changing the law. The law is 13 years old. We're going to change this law officially and we're going to allow it. Why would we do this? Just think about that for a start. Why would we even think about doing it? Why should we think about doing it? Yep, go. I just wanted to say, why do you think yep. that it's over 13 to create an account, yep. but you don't have to be over 13 to just use it? Yes, you do. Yep, legally you do. You can't create an account, and if you've got a, an account that you're being allowed to access, that's actually against the... You know, the, the thing that you scroll past all the time and click allow, that's basically saying you're over 13 to use it. So yeah, so you're not supposed to create an account or have an account unless you're 13 years old or over. Okay, now, as I get to the point in a moment. Because I want to get to the negative side in just a sec, guys, listen up. Who are stakeholders? Obviously, these people, parents, schools, things like that. We need to be smart about this. Now by smart, I'm saying if you're going to allow this, what's going to come with it? As an affirmative team, what you don't want to do is go, yeah, we're just going to change the, the Facebook policy and it's, we're going to change it to 10 year olds. That's all going to be fine. Because you're going to get a negative team that stands up and says, well, it's 13 for a reason. Because remember, status quo. It's 13 for a reason. We believe that that is a certain amount of maturity to use these sites. And that's what we want to keep it as. But if we're going to change it, what also are we going to do? What are we going to do if we change it? What are we going to give them as well? Yep, who's got some ideas? Yep, go. Um, just saying, but um, with, it depends on um, the site that you download um, the social media account from. Like, for example, um, for Instagram on Google Play, I think, yep. um, it's just 12 plus rather than it's still younger than you. Oh, it's still older than you five, isn't it? Yeah. And that's the point. Okay, here's how we set this up, guys. Adam, put your hand down. Okay, here's how we set it up. Not only are we going to change it, but with it is going to come this.
This is so important. Tell me, in year five, because either you're in year five, guys, or you're in year six, how many lessons have you had about using Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat and everything like You've had one. Was that, and what was that lesson like? Um, more like a lecture. Exactly. So, here's what we're gonna change. Why don't we allow people in year five to use these things? Because we don't know what they're gonna say on them. We don't know what they're gonna do. We don't know how they're going to actually interact with people. And it's getting them into a lot of trouble. It's, it's hard to go past a week now without finding that some poor girl, it's usually a girl, some poor girl has been bullied online through a social media site and some things have been said about her and it's ended in a terrible way. Are we all seen stories like that? Or heard stories like that? Yeah. So it happens and it currently, and it still happens. So, as an affirmative team, we're going to be all about education. This, using social media sites like this, is going to be taught from the front of the classroom. Not necessarily by teachers, but you might want to say teachers. You're actually going to be educated in how to use social media sites responsibly. You're going to be shown privacy settings. Half of these things get way out of hand by a bunch of kids signing onto accounts that they're not supposed to access leaving all their privacy and location services open and anybody can hack in or find them or, or whatever. Not very many kids in year five and even younger who, who sign up to these accounts even know anything about privacy settings. What if we had the education in place? Why do we need the education in place? Because as an affirmative team, we're not gonna say that we live in a world where this doesn't happen. We refuse to say year five students across the board, 100% are not using social media because the laws say it's 13 and over and they wouldn't do it. Who believes this? Nobody. So you know what we're gonna do? As an affirmative team, we're gonna change the law and then we're gonna put this in. And we're gonna educate them in the right ways of setting your privacy settings, responsible communication online and it's going to be monitored so the only Facebook account let's take Facebook as an example so every person in year five is going to get a Facebook account and the reason that they're all going to have it even if they don't want one because that's what the negative team will possibly say what if you don't want a Facebook account well you don't want one now but what if you want one later so you might as well learn now I might not want to learn algebra now but what if I need it later? I might as well start learning it now. That kind of idea. So we're going to start teaching this directly. This is how you set up a Facebook account. And you're going to have one set up. You're going to set up your own. This is where your privacy settings are. And a teacher will show them. This is how you make sure that you don't offend somebody by what you type on Facebook or on Twitter. These are the way that you say, or this is the way you say stuff, and this is what you mean when you say stuff. And then all those wonderful abbreviations that we love and people use, they're all going to be explained. And then we're going to create Facebook accounts for a class. So you're not going to be allowed to communicate with everyone in the world to start with. You're just going to be allowed to communicate in a very safe environment where the teacher who's controlling the class is going to monitor what everybody says. And then, in lessons, people are going to go, oh, but what if somebody didn't know what OMG meant? And you wrote that and things like that. So it's going to be really controlled. Okay? Any other ideas about how we could make it safer and better for Year 5 to have access to stuff like this, Adam? The opposite is true. So it's kind of all that emotional stuff that goes with it. What if someone has more followers on Twitter than what I do and how do I deal with that or you know if I suddenly have a lot what if I post something that I'm not happy with how do I delete it things like that all of that's going to be taught at the moment all of this stuff Michael is just I'll experiment with it and see and then if that works out that works out and if it doesn't well then what happens 